you know, one thing I noticed that hit me today, in fact, was just how good the quality is on these recordings. It, it honestly sounds, I don't know if, if this is negative or not, but it almost sounds like it's in the studio. Like I can't even tell it's live until I hear an audience clap or something. Like it sounds so crisp and good. And um, it sounds like you're right next to me singing. I mean, it's, I can't explain it. It's unbelievable. It really well, is unbelievable. Well, that's fantastic. Yes, I I thought, uh, you know, Omnivore got a hold of this, and they can do nowadays uh, amazing stuff. They made our first record that we cut yeah. in Charlotte, which did that's sound right. good. They made it sound even better. Wow. This live record always kind of bothered me because I always thought of it as a board tape. You know, it didn't sure. have any ambiance. A Boom. board tape. Omnivore gets a hold of it, and they sweetened it up they didn't tune it that's us and it's live <laughs> but they just kind of fattened it up you know we all had pickups on our little acoustic instruments and i i remember really not liking the way uh some of those instruments sound they sat you know they can get a little thin sure but omnivore you know they they run it through the mastering process and it it it, it improves it. So whatever I, I really they did. appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever they did, uh, the magic, uh, technology, right. Uh, in 2021 here, uh, that's amazing. Uh, cause almost, you know, salvages it, I guess, in a sense, uh, like you said, it fattens it up. It doesn't take away from the original feeling and emotion of those songs. Right. right? It just amps. It almost just transports you back. Like if you were literally live there, you know, in it really feeling everything and the bass and the song and the instruments sound great. I mean, they really did a number on those too. So yeah, well, that's, that's amazing. That's, see, I was kind of the tech guy in Uncle Walt's band. That was oh, okay. Old, so, right on. You know, I had to, I was into that. You, you were always those checking everybody's. Uh, they, right? had, they had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> If you left Jeff and Walter alone, they one time went up to Charlotte, North Carolina to buy a PA. And so they wanted me to come up there and look at it. And and Walter, for some reason, everything he bought, he, always, he wanted to buy it on time. He was big into that. You know, it would be, it would be like, well, we're going to pay, we're going to pay $39 a week. And I was like, what are you? But I go up there and look at this thing. And it was, it was like, they had found a PA that was called something like the exterminator. I mean, it was just this big, <laughs> huge, it was totally the opposite of what Uncle Walt's band, you know, that one, one 15 inch bass speaker and then a big horn and in a, yeah. in a white fiberglass. And it was made by Heil, wow. which they make, you know, steamrollers and bulldozers and stuff. <laughs> And I just thought, you guys are out of your <laughs> like, No, I think the reason yeah, Walter liked funny. it is because he they put together a deal, you know, so he ah, make okay. the payment. He liked to make the payment. Yeah, that is so f You're like, I can't leave you guys alone for one minute. Right. right. Like, <laughs> and I was just a kid, but I knew PA, you know, yeah. that was one thing. I, I, I did have a little bit of knowledge about that. So I appreciate that was one of my goals when we did that first record was that if uh, somebody, you know, back then there were things called audio file magazines and you could read these magazines and I was into it. Um, and they would review music and they would talk about, you know, especially if like some jazz record on blue note or something, they'd talk about yeah. how the sonic, the sound, the range of the sound of the bass, uh, whatever. And I wanted Uncle Walt's band to do kind of this folky record that would be reviewed, you know, because it would be sad, it would sound so good. That's a big part of, you know, the music. And, and we have certainly had the ability, like when we would rehearse over in Walter's log cabin out there, it just sounded wonderful. And um, that was the sound that, you know, we tried to create in the studio, but... It can get a little dicey, you know, sometimes. But sure. um, so the first record, we we almost got there, but you know, we went we went in and knocked that record out in about six hours straight. And, uh, oh wow! You know, it's hard it's hard for an engineer to to keep up because 
everything was moving around, you know, well, yeah. who's singing the lead on that? Well, yeah. we don't know. <laughs> we don't, <laughs> you know, just hang on, daddy. <laughs> yeah. Just hang on. We're going to, we got that. We're going to figure this out. I love that. that is like, so I, yeah. What's the name of this particular number you're going to play now? Well, we, 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 I, I don't, that. I don't know what it's called, but it's a good one. You know what's funny is like I think fans are gonna love this because it's like you guys were who you were all the time, right? Like you know yeah. what I mean. It wasn't a show that y'all. I mean, it's a show you're putting on court, but it wasn't an act that you were putting on. You know, in that sense, yeah. right? Yeah. Where you're di- different than than who you are up on the stage. I love that. That's that's amazing. That's 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 so amazing. Well, that's a, that's exactly right. You know, and that can that can work against you, but at the same time, that's it, it, when it's, when it's happening, it's really good. That's, I think that's part of, you know, what uncle Walt's band fell into. That's just, sure. you know, we all knew each other so well. So, you know, the minute, you know, somebody starts to pull some crap or something, it's, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so what I used to love is when we would have some, you know, some record exec come down and, you know, want to listen to the band or something like that. Why? Walter would just get off into the most bizarre. You know, you just never knew what was going to happen. And most of those people left our shows just, just like, I don't get it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> They're from where? They're from North Carolina? What? You know, just no, nothing made sense. This song is called If I Don't Stop Crying. If I don't stop crying, I know I'm going to bring down rain. Oh, if baby says goodbye. Somebody loves you Nobody gonna take your place Oh, 